Okay, welcome back. We are now down inside of a dead cauldron, apparently. Hopefully it'll finally show us like what's wrong with it. all destroyed? Like, where did this come from anyway? So I still can't do anything to it even though it's, it's called Cauldron Gemini. I could get out over there. What's to my left? A dead end? It's off. It's purple glow. Isn't that Hephaestus? This cauldron got taken over by the earth. Is different. It normally doesn't happen. Another door up there. Look, it's like, see, it's like more to this. Hmm. Can't get up there though. There's stuff up there though. So. It gotta be, must be a way to turn this cauldron on. Whoa, I definitely almost died. I did not know it was a hole right there. Is it? I mean, they have this things right there. Let me up from down there. Can I go down there? Mm, nah, I'm not gonna try it. somewhere this is the thing to bring up the core that's the core though isn't it This is still on though. Made it. That was a long climb. She ain't never just climb all the way back up here. Gemini is off though. 
The Roots That Bind, Drown Hopes, The Deluge. All right, let's do, let's do the story mission. Broken Sky. Scalding Spirit, talk to the pit master. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this with this cauldron? Is this everything is down there, it's just off. And how do I get how do I get on top of that tall neck? Save. Okay. Get into a different type of biome now. I'm getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Man, they could just travel a little further and just get water from right here. It's an entirely different biome. Like a rainforest now. So I mean that far. If they wouldn't travel that far, they could travel this far. Where is uh Oh well they all the way over here though. They travel all the way this way to get water and have to travel all the way back over here to get wow. And the other places up here, yeah, they're really far from here. Where did I go to turn that water on? I went up this way, right? I think it was in here. Yeah. Water from there, piped to here. Yeah. Yep, the big doorway in front of me is where I need to go. Nice green river. Like the Amazon. Oh, when I went back to the base, I didn't give it my. Yeah, I was just thinking like airplanes. I was just thinking that. These are crash F-22. They're like F-22. F-22 Raptors. An ancient ruin turned into a Tanakh stronghold. Ether be inside. Campfire to my right. Walking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Okay. Let's go see. Why is all these planes uh parked right here in front of this? Like it's just a building. army only grows in strength. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. What visions? fought her. And neither will we. What of the ten? You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Life. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Deckard, chaplain of the Lowland Clan. We've come I'm to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that the well, visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the ten. The ten. I can show you them if you like. On the way to the chief. Blood of the ten. So 
There are fighter pilots. These visions. You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. We fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. As best they can, based on how you told it. Why does Hakara want to see me? We are at war with Regatta. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war right. for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. All right, chaplain. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. Lead the way. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in this throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. Watch the visions. It's glitched. Incomplete. Force ten at the ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, yeah, activate they took my... to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief. It's one of the few things the clans had in common. I can't activate my, uh... My oh, there we go. So that wall fell down. The roof is completely gone. That wall fell. We can only go this way. It's back here. Roof fell, trees started growing. Big old stupid tree. What's this? Text log. What's that? Moderate supply cash. Oh, that's another thing. I think we're show up. Now it's a museum. Makes sense. This would be a museum because they got exhibits like that. Staff instructions, data point. Let's stop in this room first. Activate. During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage 
and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Northwest. Somewhere over there. Probably over there where Demetra is at. What's this? What's this one about? The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too hard for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevail. So the desert clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. Yep. I did. They uh, seem a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. I haven't stopped to look at the other clans before I came here. So you can't tell me nothing about the other clans, unfortunately. Who's that? Okay, so am I supposed to be going this way? Yeah. I knew I could do these from far away. Saves me a lot of time. Talk. You have an old world recorded? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh's territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them to shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient killing machines. Yeah, I found one black box. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I can use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me okay. know when you have one that you'll part with. I know what one is that. Do you get many Osirim Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Nice. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. I need to get further in the story first, so that I can actually get access to the stuff. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. It should help me to find any others that are still out there. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? 
Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment struck. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. So that's why y'all chose the areas that y'all clans are in, based on where the ten fought. Get all those. Stop walking in front of my thing. Thank you. Hall of Heroes. Examine. The Carl Spear. It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. Okay. Hey, I will. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Yeah. I'm ready. Good. Come. Oh, the airplane. Hanging. Where's Ether? There we go. My so arm. Soon, Outlander. Oh, the one that lost his arm during the, the savior uh, of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light and defeated her champion Grutta in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there too. He said you were a great warrior. The man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. You will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. That is not why I'm here. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more Tanaka, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? <laughs> yeah. You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Tell me to recruit marshals? Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. 
So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Kurus. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You Let me go convince them. And force Dakota, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a coup with, with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Okay. So I can't ask about your spear, apparently. Right. The Shah called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. And you won, but you spared her. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to not, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. Now it's the mistake. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. <laughs> and I stopped it. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Peacekeepers? We called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parley with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule, which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Okay. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong, while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. <laughs> Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. 
Okay. I'm sorry about Fashav. You seem like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashar. He will be missed. This dude, <laughs> he's a good, he's a good leader. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What they say? What did the old ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. So that's why he created marshals. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans. Trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hummed with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Okay. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Army? What do I need? Over there. Did I get this one already? Probably. Just move up. Mark the problem. The heck is making that noise? <laughs> just said noise. Trying to say sound, but said noise at the same time. Come, let us speak. Come on. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. I've been having face before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Cleaving sharp shot bow. 
Tear precision arrows are now available for one of your sharp sharp bows. These powerful arrows deal high tear damage with the compressed air blast. Use them to remove armor plates from tough opponents or detach useful components. Oh, so I didn't, okay. Yeah, so I can actually do that now. Where's the weapon I had that had that on there already? This one, no. Hmm. It's this one, right? 69, 51, 68. Knockdown sharp shot. Cleaving sharp shot. Tear damage is exactly what I need. Um, edit coil. 281. Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, the arena. And I gotta go way north. Jeez. <sighs> All right. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Hikaru. I'd better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. Yes, it will. Actually, I'm going to end it right here. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.